So poor Bohr, the formula doesn't work. Where are the electrons and what are they doing in the atom? Well, that's a big question. So Heisenberg comes along and he says, Well, I don't know. And everybody goes, Oh, that's really cool. Now, Heisenberg actually comes up with an idea that says, It's not that we don't know. We can't know. Because there's a certain amount of limitation that's available here in terms of being able to find out where the electron is. Now look, if let's say we have an electron microscope, a very powerful microscope that can actually zoom in and try to find an electron in an atom. Well, you have to input a lot of energy into that and probably have to shine a lot of light on that little sample that you've got. Boy, immediately by doing that, you're adding enough EMR to blow the electron from n equals 1 to n equals I don't know. And so, you try to measure it, and we're limited now in terms of our being able to measure it properly because it'll just blow the electron away. So the, 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 the closer we come to knowing where it is, the less we actually know about how fast it's going or taking off uh, uh, to. And, and then the more we know about its speed, the less we know about where it is. Oh, there's Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In formula, it's the uncertainty in the position of an object times the uncertainty in its momentum, which is mass times speed, has to be greater than or equal to Planck's constant over 4 pi. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here's what it means. Um, you know, you wouldn't actually set off a thermonuclear device to try to find out where the basketball is in the dark basement, would you? No, no, no. Okay. So, you see, then you wouldn't try to add massive quantities of energy to an electron to find out where it is because you'll blow it away, right? Now, let's say, however, that we have a, a car whipping through a, a dark alleyway or something like that, right? So, if that's the case and we want to, to measure um, how, let's say, uh, how fast it was going, okay, if we can measure its position very accurately, which is what we can because Measuring-wise, we can measure things to 10 to the negative 12 meters on this planet. That's how good we can measure stuff. So we can measure that very accurately. And let's say that we know the car's mass. Well, if we take those numbers, divide it into this side, we can calculate, not its speed, but the uncertainty we have in the speed of the car. And actually, that number will be very, very, very low, 10 to the negative 30-something. Here's what it means. A very small number from this equation means a very small degree of uncertainty, which means that you're really certain. So you could really know the speed of the car. Oh yeah, but now, if you take, try to find out, say, what the uh, speed is of an electron. And let's say you could really measure that electron very, very well, about 10 to the negative 12 in terms of our ability to measure on this planet. And you know the mass of an electron, which is in the 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And if you divide that into this side, you get a number for its speed, an uncertainty value for its speed that is so large it approaches the speed of light. Here's what that means. If the uncertainty is huge, that means we're really, really uncertain about its speed. So if we try to calculate its speed, we're totally uncertain about it to a degree of, uh, where here's the speed plus or minus the speed of light. We have no idea how fast it's going. So Heisenberg's uncertainty principle really sets the groundwork for the limitation that's involved in trying to find the position or the speed of an electron. So where is it? Well, I'm not really sure. What's it doing? Eh, no. Is it in the atom? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to try to define where it is in terms of a space of probability called an orbital. But first, we're going to try to give it an address.